all possible, you want to have that stem attached to the fruit when you go to pick it. So if you were to pick this cluster for market, it'd be best if you could pick it, preferably cut it with a little pair of snips. You see how I have that stem on there? That's gonna help these pawpaws keep because when that rips off, if you harvest it and you rip that off, that's an entry point for rot because now the flesh is, has been opened up. Similarly, when you have an avocado and you've got that little stem on there that protects it, when that stem comes out, that's the first place to, that, that gets soft and rots. So it's similar with the pawpaw too. So that being said, early on in the season, it's, it's far too late to do it now, but I'm just gonna give you the idea. You can actually come in and thin the little ones off, okay? And you do it when they're about the size of, you know, a peanut or, you know, a quarter or nickel or something like that. And you can actually just leave one. And that one will have a nice stem attached. It'll also make the fruit get bigger. Because the more fruit the tree produces, the more little fruits it's gonna produce. Like you see this cluster here? See how those are kind of small? If you would thin these out, see like this big multi-cluster here has all these little dinky ones here. These aren't really sellable. If you thin these out to just one fruit or maybe two, all of them on the tree would be this big or bigger. Here's another one that's nice and soft, ready to pick. There's a little bit of stick to damage on this one. This is a sunflower variety and it was a very rainy, very rainy season. And so you had a lot of phyllostic to, that's what causes these cracks and this black blotching.